This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist, with this week's market update. Wow, what a difference a year makes. Last year, the Federal Reserve announced it was not even thinking about, even thinking about, raising interest rates. To this week's meeting, where Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said we should call it the talk about talking about tapering. This week, the Federal Reserve told us three things. First, they have talked about talking about inflation and interest rates, but haven't set any formal date to actually begin talking about it. Second, they raised their headline inflation expectation to 3.4%, up from 2.4, a significant increase, while assuring us that the current pressures are still transitory. And third, they left their current policy in place, keeping interest rates at zero, and they will continue their monthly purchases of $120 billion a month in bonds. In other words, no tapering until they see further progress on their twin economic goals of 2% inflation and maximum employment. So basically, the Federal Reserve finally acknowledged what you and I have been seeing every day, that inflation is running hotter than our officials anticipated. The markets reacted as you would expect. The dollar rose, gold and commodities fell, bonds fell, then rose, and the great rotation of growth to value stocks reversed as value stocks pulled back from their recent highs and growth, basically megatech stocks, rose from their recent lows. So all in all, a good news, bad news message from the Fed. They're now signaling that rates will need to rise sooner and faster, but they also see faster growth this year, forecasting that GDP will be 7%, up from their previous call of 6.5%. Now, wrapping up the press conference, Chairman Powell reminded all of us that we are in unusual times that have been tough to predict. He went on to say, forecasters have a lot to be humble about. And we all know there's no more humbling place on the planet than the financial markets. Just look at the last year, where we experienced a brief but deep bear market into a big booming bull market just in a matter of weeks. A good reminder that if you want to succeed in this or in any environment, you need to employ a process-driven strategy and never, ever invest in anticipation of news or an event, or especially the Federal Reserve. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a process-driven strategy that will help me navigate these volatile markets that will get me and my family to my goals? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? My son, Ryan, and I have 70 years of combined industry experience building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based, process-driven portfolios. All you need to get your review is to text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.